There are growing calls tonight for the city of Jacksonville to live up to Mayor Lenny Curry's promise made more than a year ago to remove memorials lionizing the Confederacy. But one memorial to Confederate women still stands in place in Springfield Park. On your side's Ken Merrill joins us live. And Ken, what are city council members telling you now today about the delays in getting this monument finally removed? Well, they're basically saying it's time to make a decision and move forward. You know, June 2020 is when Mayor Lenny Kerr removed the bust of a Confederate soldier from what is now uh, Hemick Plaza or James Weldon Johnson Park. And then he stood on the steps of City Hall and promised to remove the other Confederate statutes, but so far nothing, at least until now. Legislation has been introduced in City Council and will be on tomorrow's agenda regarding that statute in in uh, Springfield Park. City Council members were told by the mayor's staff that the estimated cost to remove the Women of the Southern Confederacy Monument at Springfield Park would be at 1.2 million. And that number does not include the additional expense related to storing or preserving the statue. Council member Matt Carlucci is among those who would support the relocation of this monument. Carlucci says there's no easy answer either way, but it's time to make a decision. I believe we've got to pull this community together and I know there's people for and against but at the end of the day uh, there's some hurt out there and I think you know the city moves best when we move together and uh, and there's been different ways you can do it I think Uh, Carl, as you said, he re would support reserving or preserving that monument in a different location. Again, the legislation calling for $1.3 million has been introduced to City Council. It will be on the City Council agenda tomorrow evening. Back to you.